What's up? 筋肉翻訳ですさあ今日は「世界の美女の朝ごはん減量記編」見ていきましょう今回は世界の美女が主にコンテストに向けての減量を行っている時の食事の紹介です総勢7人の美女たちがどんなサプリメントをとっているかどんなものをカロリーをどのぐらいとっているか紹介してくれています早速見ていきましょうどうぞはい。I'm good for the day. I don't have to worry about spending so much money on all these different bottles. It is amazing. Then, my other HD product that I use in the morning and also before I work out is Burn HD. So, this is essentially just like a fat metabolizer and it helps with weight loss support, elevates your mood and energy. If you were looking to buy any HD products, I do have a code that I will leave in my description. It's just BRIT, B R I T T, so with two T's. That'll just save you some money at your checkout if you were interested in buying any of the products. Next, I just take an omega 3 and then I take this three times a day. I actually got it off of Amazon. One of my coaches, my posing coach, actually recommended this to me. The reason I take this is because I'm having some issues right now. I haven't had my period in, I'm 13 weeks late, I wanna say. A lot of people get that, a lot of competitors get that when they're working out every single day. It happens last year and get it for 10 months. It's really bad. So, anyway, this helps me with that to try to regulate it. I just started taking it, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so meal number one. Okay, so I use coconut Pam cooking spray to cook everything with. I do one whole egg, 150 grams of egg whites, 45 grams of oats, and some cinnamon. I weigh everything out on my food scale. So、I'm gonna eat this right now because I'm freaking starving. So, you all know I'm on bread, and、uh, I can't eat whatever I want. I have my diet. The portion, you know, gotta be everything measured, everything exactly the way my coach gives me my diet. Now I'm gonna have just white because、uh, things are getting serious. You know, eight weeks. So I don't really count my macros. I know how many calories I'm eating a day. And I have like an idea. But I don't like worrying about my macros when I'm prepping. Just like to follow the diet and you know, don't have to worry about counting. But this is around, probably around 20 grams of protein. And、uh, I'm also gonna have oats. So it's gonna be around 25 grams of carbs. And almonds, there's around 8 grams of fat. And I'll have fiber too. I'll have、uh, spinach in my egg whites and tomato. They smell, oh my god. Peanut powder, a sweetened peanut powder. Peanut powder. It's like peanut butter, but without the fat. I try to drink. The whole gallon. I usually do, and even more, like plus coffees, you know. So. Oats, 
water, uh, one tablespoon of peanut powder, uh, coconut stevia drops, and stevia powder. Breakfast my favorite meal of the day. Most, like a lot of competitors, they do fasted cardio, but it doesn't work for me because I really wake up hungry. I did once fasted cardio, wasn't working because I was always stressed. Usually my husband's here, I like to have breakfast with him. He's traveling today, so I'm having by myself. My mom and my niece, they are here, but they sleep a little more. So I use this stevia for my coffee. It's just like normal stevia, you know, like no flavorful. Put a little bit of my coffee. Now you need to eat because this is bodybuilding, you know. Like some people do it wrong; they starve themselves, and the body shows, you know, it shows like you're too depleted or you're too shredded. You get like you start eating the muscle when you do like too much low carbs. But for me, I'm doing this for six years. It's been 35 competitions. So I already know what works for me. Having very little carbs or zero carbs doesn't work for my body. Instead of looking better, I look worse. I look flat and, uh, and I don't have energy to train. So, you know, by the end, we, we're gonna be dropping the, the carbs a little bit slowly, you know, but I, I keep like a good amount of carbs my whole prep to the end and a good amount of fat. So it's very healthy. If you see my food is like, you know, good fats, lean protein and good carbs. And you go like this. Okay, so today I'm gonna make a video for you guys as you guys saw in the title. Um, it's a full day of eating on a low carb, low carb, low fat <laughs> diet that I'm on. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about why I'm doing this diet and you know the progression that we're gonna go into um, before the show, currently six weeks out. And then if you guys watch my last video, you guys can see how my physique is looking. And yeah, so real quick, real quick. I know I'm talking real fast, but it's because I have to really go. I'm like already late. Um, we got chicken, we got eggs. So five ounces of chicken, uh, about 30 grams of protein worth of eggs, some asparagus, then we have some oatmeal and then I'm gonna take my supplements. I'll show you guys a couple of my supplements today too because I should be getting a package with a good amount. But till then, um, I'll see you guys on the road in a second. Oh, I'm probably not gonna bring a meal with me. I just need to get the, okay, bye. So I just got home from the gym. Thankfully, I live like 10 minutes away or else I would have done this before I left the gym. Um, but since I did a fasted workout, I want my first meal to be something that's not only gonna be quick to eat, but something that's gonna digest really quickly. So I will choose from my pile here an Isoflex whey protein shake. Isoflex digests very quickly, so it's gonna get to my muscles quicker than if I were to sit down and like make breakfast. So um, I'm gonna have that along with a tablespoon of natural PB, and then in about an hour, I'll go ahead and like make myself an actual meal. Yeah. 
meal one, down. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes since I had that little meal. So now I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna have an actual meal. I'm hungry. Okay, so after a fasted workout and with this being the first like actual meal that I'm eating, I'm super hungry and so are my muscles. So you wanna have a decent amount of protein and a clean carb source. So I personally am just over oatmeal at the moment. So I'm having grits, about a third cup, and then I will have four egg whites. Getting ready to make some breakfast. It's usually the same thing. It's cream of rice with some protein mixed in after I heat up the cream of rice. Say cream of rice, I use the uh, white rice flour. The cream of rice here has a lot of iron in it and I don't need iron, so. And this is typically cheaper. So I measure right about 50 grams-ish. So just because something is healthy or just because I'm dieting doesn't mean that it has to be plain so I'll add some weird spices cayenne because I love spicy spice and some Ceylon cinnamon spices are calorie free and don't be afraid of salt either I like using cream of rice because I digest it a lot easier than oatmeal I actually had a food sensitivity test done a couple of years ago and found that I'm intolerant to oatmeal. I don't necessarily think food intolerance tests are the most accurate, but typically if you have trouble digesting something, if it sits in your stomach or, you know, if you feel like you just generally don't assimilate it well, there are so many different options, especially for breakfast that you can try. And it's funny since I'm dieting now, I typically will try to get <laughs> everything out of this pot whereas when I was bulking and I was doing 400 carbs a day this the amount was like twice of the, I had like twice the amount here and I could barely finish it I'm using Cellucor it's their core performance way and it's cinnamon swirl goes nicely with the uh, cinnamon that I've added it's 24 grams per serving which is two scoops whey protein isolate. Just go ahead and mix it up until it's an even consistency. So that's about the time I stop it. You can see it's got a nice jiggly. I usually just add some stevia to it and as I eat it I may add a little bit as I go. Meal one of the day, we are having a third cup of oats, two whole eggs, as well as two cups of spinach. Now, during this prep, and note when I say prep, I generally mean the 16 week period going into a bodybuilding competition where I would gradually lose fat, lean out, so presumably in time for that competition, I would be stage ready. During this prep, I was following a meal plan. So what this means is that I wasn't intentionally tracking calories or macros as long as I stuck to the meal plan. My coaches would adapt that week to week to ensure I was meeting my calorie needs as they saw fit in order to get lean. Different preps were different. There were other preps where I followed more of a flexible dieting approach. I did more of my own nutrition, other preps I did meal plans, everything in between. This prep was a meal plan. Now I will say at face value, 
very bland and boring. I mean, what the heck are you gonna do with a third cup of oats, two whole eggs, and some spinach? My instinct says just kind of separate them all out on the plate. Typically during this prep, I just blend them all together and make it into a pancake and then top it with zero calorie syrup because my sweets cravings were out of control. But today I wanted to try something different. I've never made a savory oat before, so I figured we'd try it out. We'll see how it goes. It actually looks and smells pretty good. All I did was boil some rolled oats, chop spinach, saute that, mix it with the oats, fry two eggs and then top it all with little green onions. The rolled oats almost get like a bit of a risotto, especially once you've added in the salt and the spinach and the green onions. It definitely helped bring the flavor together and I forgot to mention, I cooked the rolled oats in a bone broth. So it gave it a little bit more depth, if you will. So it is about, what's the time? It's about nine o'clock and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I like starting the day with eggs usually, so I'm gonna make one of my omelets. So with this one, the ingredients are two eggs, some cauliflower rice, a little bit of baby spinach, and I usually use capsicum, but we're all out today, so I've got tomatoes instead. Okay guys, so there it is, my first meal of the day. Two whole eggs, some cherry tomatoes, baby spinach, and I have stir fried that up with some cauliflower rice and added 15 grams of cashews to that. So, how was it? Oatmeal is not good for you. The oatmeal is not good for you. You can catch your own characteristics in your own body. 卵やステビアなどを使っている人も多い印象でした。最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございます。動画のリクエスト、チャンネル登録お待ちしてます。ではまた。